What the hell is that? What is that Pokemon under Landorus? Is that, a, is that Volcanion? You could use that? What the I've never seen one of those before in my life. I'm getting a phone call. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cancel this phone call. Alright. There we go. No more phone call. Uh, Volcanion, huh? I don't know what the hell that's gonna do. You know what? I'm not scared. It's time. He has a Diancy too, and a Jirachi. This is gonna be so hard. I think it's a fire water type, right? That's the only thing that I really know about it. I don't know anything about it. It's stats. Uh-uh. This is gonna be... This, man, can you like to stop calling me? Alright. No more phone call. Phone's turned off. I'm gonna get wrecked by Volcanion. I hope not. Alright, let's see. How am I gonna deal with this? Is Diancie like a big threat? It, it can go mega, right? That's a thing that happens. Alright, let's do this. Rock is super effective against Volcanion. Good thing I, I uh, don't have any rock type attacks in my team, right? That'd be nice. Oh, it's a fairy type too! Shit, I should have killed it! I don't... Oh, I should have just leaf stormed it. Maybe he'll protect. I hope that he protects. He might protect. Because like, he would think, oh, you could just like rock slide it. Or you could just like leaf storm it, sorry. There's the protect! All the misplays from me coming in hot. Let's see if he's Scarf. Oh, he's U-turning. U-turning probably on Sceptile? That shouldn't KO because he's Scarf. Oh, oh, I'm at two. I'm at two of them HP. Okay. Right, who's coming in? Who is coming in to deal with this? Scarf Lando, though. What is this? VGC 2015? It was like the first two months of a VGC 2015. It is, it is Mega Diancie though. Oh, it's Sylveon! That is a correct choice. But uh, it's going to activate Sceptile's Lightning Rod. Is Sceptile faster than Diancie? I've never had to calc these things before. Leaf Storm. Plus one Leaf Storm up onto a Sylveon. Is that, an, is that a vest? Okay. Well, that guy went down. We take those. Alright, Diancie is a rock type, so like, it could pop my Rotom right in that face. What am I gonna do here? I know what I'm gonna do. I have a plan. Yeah, uh-huh. Pretty good one. It's a pretty good plan. I think. What is he? He's gonna rock slide, and he's just gonna do a bunch of rock moves. I don't know if Dehancy's faster. Oh, this is just all bad. We're gonna do this. And then we're gonna do this. I don't have any water types, man. I just threw a team together like that. This is. I just ragtag group for throwing stuff together. Switching to a Pokemon that's still, like, neutral. So he's, I'm expecting the U turn, right? We all have to expect that U turn. Oh, he's rock sliding. And you know what? Rock slide, of course, is actually the better move here. Don't KO my Mammoth Swine, though. Can you not? Ma Dancy's gonna KO my Mammoth Swine. Whoa, he doubled up into that slot pretty much. Oh, but Diamond Storm hits both? Diamond Storm hits both. That is broken. And he gets a boost of something and a defense boost? Fuck that. <laughs> That's so broken. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to say to that. And Dancy's probably just faster than Sceptile, because he's leaving it in. Now let's see. He may, th he may have counted with Landers to take out Sceptile. If Sceptile's faster, I'm going to be in a decent spot. Yes. Yes, I'm at minus one. But, like, this is a Leaf Storm. We take those! Alright, we are doing pretty good. Sceptile. In the doubles OU format, is this like a Pokemon people use? Because, like, if not, they're, like, not playing it right. 
Yeah, dude, the Ice Shard, pretty good move. And I also switched my Mammoth Swine in, so I would have avoided the Intimidate. So I knew it was going to KO because it's a, just a Glass Cannon, Landorus. So wait on him, he only has three left. He has a Volcanion. A Volcanion is left. This is where, like, oh, Gastrodon will be so good. Dude, that, that Pokemon looks so... I don't even know what to do. It's, he's still going to win. Like, look at that board versus my board. I have, like, nothing. I mean, we're going to try for that. And then... Let's try this. Oh, this is so risky. This is just the most riskiest business. But if I get it off, I'm going to be so good at this game. Alright, here we go. We're switching in the Rotom, going for the Tide and True. He uses the Protect. I want to know if that Jirachi is uh, Scarfed or not. So it looks like he's not Scarfed, so he's about to just be eating that EQ. Now I know Jirachi's typing. Jirachi's going to take a big amount of damage from this. Yeah, I wasn't expecting a KO, but... I mean, I KO'd myself. Let's see what Jirachi's going for. Then. You think it's going to set up, or you think it's just going to Iron Head? Yeah, does the Iron Head. And let's see if the Jirachi has, uh, lefties. Uh, looks like it doesn't. That means I can definitely send in my Sceptile again. I don't know if Volcanion gets Aqua Jet. If it does, that Pokemon is just busted. Uh, Dragon Pulse should be able to KO onto the Volcanion. Plus the Discharge Damage, because Discharge is super effective against Volcanion, who I think is a Water type. I don't even know its ability. It could just have, like, some broken ability. I have no idea. Probably has, like, Levitate or something stupid. Here we go, he's withdrawing the Volcanion. Alright, that makes sense. That makes sense. I really hope this Discharge takes out that Jirachi. Going in with the Thunderous. Okay. Jirachi protecting? We take those. So I, I think I'm going to be able to KO the Thunderous this turn. Man, it is just so refreshing being able to use Sceptile after all this time and not just have to, like, fight off armies of Xerneas' and Groudons. Here we go. I think it should KO. Stabbed. It's at plus one. Oh, he's at 1 HP, literally! Okay. Okay. Huh. Alright. We're gonna have to switch it up. We're gonna play this play. Let's see what he goes for with the Thunderous. The Thunderous is the uh, big question mark here. Uh, he has potential for Swaggers. So let's see. I don't think he's stupid enough to go for the Thunder Wave onto my Sceptile slot. That, that would be nice. But... I don't know, we'll see. Waiting on him. Oh man, there's a Jirachi on the board. I don't even think I've like ever seen anyone use Jirachi in this gen yet. So we're protecting, going with the... Whoa. Whoa, that thing gets follow me? Are you kidding? That is the best Pokemon I've ever seen. Ever. No wonder it's like banned. Alright, cool. So Thunderous goes down. Looks like he was probably going for like an HP Ice. Or just like a... Yeah, it had to be HP Ice or something like that. So Jirachi's going to come out, um, yeah, Volcanion's going to come back out. I think, unless Volcanion's holding, like, an Assault Vest, uh, I think that Sceptile's just going to be able to go for the Discharge plus two on Volcanion, plus the Discharge take it out. Yeah, he says, can't beat that Rotom, man. Rotom is the best Pokemon, other than, like, Sceptile. These two are, like, best buds till the end. Yeah, it looks like Rotom kind of just, like, shuts down your team a little bit. I'm going to go with the Dragon Pulse. I think that can KO. I know nothing about the stats of Volcanion, but a super effective discharge. Oh, I guess forfeits. Okay, cool. Man, that was actually a pretty cool game. I actually think I would like to try playing this format a bit more. Like I might play it on Showdown. I might start I might start uploading content to the YouTube channel that is uh that is double ZOU format because that was actually pretty fun and I think any format where I can get away with using Rotom and Sceptile is one that I like. So thanks for the game. Yeah, the Ice Shard definitely won me that one.